So hi everyone and welcome to a new episode in this uh, playlist which is the build a chat up so in today's video I'm going to actually uh, learn more about uh, that the plus icon that we have actually made two episodes on so we are going to uh, try to add uh, a new chat in our user page and everything will be uh, very easy and very fun so uh, without everything I do let's get into it but don't forget to actually join the learn node community by subscribing to this small and humble channel and also if you want to be notified whenever I post new episodes on this uh, uh, playlist or on other projects so make sure you turn on the bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming content so without out of the way let's get into it uh, so in the last episode we have actually so what we have done is that we have uh, uh, managed to go to the find participants page and for, for whenever we click on it we just make a link between this user and uh, the authenticated user we we actually we just link uh, one to the other one so this is exactly uh, what we have seen in the last two episodes if you haven't checked them out there is going to be a link to this full playlist in the description so go and check them out before you move on so for those who have already watched those videos uh, now you actually understood what I'm going to do and the the, uh, the steps I'm going, to, I'm going to be following in this video are going to be very very helpful for you and very simple so uh, what I'm, I'm, what uh, I want to do is that if you we went to the to our fire store and if we just took a look at uh, uh, what we have here so we have a users and for each user we have a list or a sub collection where we are going to put all those people who this user is engaged with so this is not what I mean but what to what I want you to uh, what or uh, what I want you to actually look at or pay attention to is this one so what do I mean by chest so for it so chest is a sub collection of documents right for each document we have the last message and we have the participants we have two participants uh, and for each participant we are going to take their names and the images and uh, for the last message we are going to have the type step of the last message so actually uh, this is uh, basically what we are going to be doing so now uh, the goal of the first step in this video is to after we have actually linked the user to the authenticated user to that new new user or participant that uh, we have found here after we have made the link so now we are going to create a brand new chat uh, for them to 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 have a conversation in so if they wanted to talk with each other they need to have a room inside the chats so let's create that room for them so here if i go there as i told you this icon will have a set of actions maybe or as as far as i remember it has uh, like uh, 20 uh, 12 actions so but it's not it uh, doesn't mean that it is complicated now we are at uh, four actions so now we can actually open that and now uh, let's just ignore what we have just ma made but now let's actually take a look at how we can add a new room or a new chat where we are going to be linking those users right so uh, we are going to create a document in the in the chat uh, collection create a document in the chat so we're going to be creating a chat so we're going to set the fields so mainly for the fields that we are going to be actually uh, filling in the process of adding this room so we first we are not going to talk about uh, the last message because the chat is just it has been created just now it does have a last message and it does have a t uh, it doesn't have actually uh, a timestamp what it has is the participants ids their names and their images that those are the three fields that we need to actually fill out so now let's take a look at how we can do that here so let's go back to the, our fifth action here and once we are going to be actually creating documents we want to have three fields we want to keep those things and we may want to actually remove the last messages the last message and actually re uh, replace it with participants images right so and we may want to keep this uh, after we have done that so uh, or actually let's start with the ids first so i thought the images were the first one so uh, what i'm going to be doing is so for participants id uh, you want to first uh, set the value or add first item right so you want just to add something to it so remember that that list or that chat so for it that chat actually for the participants ID it is a list of documents so what you want to be doing you want to first add your uh, you want to actually add uh, this one so you want to 
uh, the ID of the user and also ID of the authentication user. So the ID of this user and also the ID of the authentication user. So we may think, I believe that we may have two actions. So let's just for, take a look at the first one. So let's first start off with adding uh, or actually s adding this or actually just adding our own uh, actually let's add the, our own ID or the ID of the authentication user so we have managed to add his ID and here so we can close this and for the name we are going to add the first item and the value that we are going to be adding to that list is going to be the name of the authentication user and it is as simple as that and uh, for the last thing uh, we want to actually for the for the image we want to add uh, the image of the authentication user right so we want to say to save his image so after we have done that then uh, so now what we have done is just we have created a chat and that chat has the id of the user and the name but we need to have another one here because it's a list the chat needs two people now we only have we are just uh, finished with the one user or the details of only one users so here we want to just to use the output so uh, the chat that we have just created we want to use it to actually add something else to it so just to do it do to that name it so if i went here so i want to first so here, uh, so pay attention guys that here we, I have created a chat, a brand new chat and the, 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 the details are just those of the authentication user. But for this step, we are going to just add the, the, the data of this user because for each chat, it needs to have two participants. So that's why this is uh, the, the action where we are going to be adding the, the data of the first user here. Is going to be the data for the second user this is where we are going to be using uh, something that is very new to you and it is very awesome by the way so we are going so after we have created this so we just need to update it right because it was created now we can update it so they are asking you for the reference so the one that was created here we want to take its id and use it here as a reference to know what we are going to be updating so we are going to click there and you see that here we have action output so we want to click there and here the, the so here so the the what you have created here you can say here the, it's data so so he uh, asking you for the reference of the document that you want to add and here you want to add it, to edit or update this document and this is the the reference we have taken it from the output of the actions or of the past action so we can tell them the reference and now we are good to go so now what you want to update again we want to update three fields so here we want to set, set it to this one and uh, that's it so now uh, what we're going to be doing is very simple so we, for the participants id uh, what we want so we want to add a new value to that list so remember that here we have added the, the authentication user now we want to add this user right here so uh, we want to just zoom in a little bit and here so uh, we want to tell add to set we want to add something to this so what you want to add so this time we're not going to be adding because we have done that in the in the previous action now this time we want to add that user right so that new user we want to add his id as a participant right in that chat right so uh we're going to to tick uh, the user's reference and confirm so the same goes for the name we want to add something new to that we want to add actually uh, the name of that user we want to add his display name here or her display name and for the images we want to add to set what we want to add guys we want to add uh, the image here of the other user so now to recap this was the action of creating a, a, a room for people to chat in and at the beginning we only have one option is to add the, the data of the authenticated user and after that we used the output or the document that we have just created here to update it again and add the, the second part of the data here which is of that user so you can tell me do, can I actually put the user here and the authentication user here? So yes, it works. You can try it if you like and I highly recommend you try new things Don't just follow what I said and now actually uh, guys if you understand this then it is good So uh, again, what we are going to what we are doing this step is just creating a chat for those users to 
actually have a conversation in because they cannot have a conversation in the in something like uh, a page or something like that they need to have a chat they need and then we are going to be storing the the data of that chat in our firebase so that is guys so we can actually move on to the next step but please make sure you stop the video at this moment it is already broken into parts please start the video go to your father flow and then apply the same then we could you, because this is the best way to learn please guys start the video go try and once you have tried then you can go back and watch the next steps so guys uh, pay attention that you uh, you can only learn when you apply don't don't just not just by watching my videos so always apply so you can learn and grow uh, your knowledge so now let's move on to the next step so guys uh, since uh, the last episode or the last just the last step was a little bit complicated so we want just to so for for this step we just want to do something that that is very easy so here we want to first remove this and remove everything that was there so here so if we have actually added a new chat so you may be using actually whatsapp and you saw that whenever you go to the to the to the home page you see a list of people or a list of chats of people that you are chatting with so you so you see like michael john in, you know you see a lot of people with their name the last image the time of the last image so we are going to be creating that container right now so it is very simple we can just go here here inside the so where it was so, so we can go to the stack and add just the list view and that list view will actually contain uh some some stuff some containers and for the height of the container we want it to be empty we want it to take the height of the uh, of whatever you put inside of that so uh, uh we, are, we are going to be adding a row so and for the row we are going to have the image and the other data so the, uh, we are going to have a row so we want to have first a circle image so uh we want to have a circle image and uh, it is very simple so here it is and for the diameter you can make it to actually like uh, 50 or maybe 70 is gonna be a good thing you can add uh, a padding to it uh, so good so that that is very good so uh, uh, in in this inside this row we want to add a column a column we are going to have two text the name and the last image so we want just and the last message sorry guys want to actually no it is inside there and we want to just uh, duplicate that so uh it's gonna be actually duplicated and this has to be a lot bigger than the other ones and we want to be using like 32 and that is very big and by the way for the column it has to uh, use this cross axis alignment we want to put them on one side and uh, so we can go to uh, 32 and uh, it's going to be like uh, 26 or 24 and this has to be 20 so that is so this can be a little bit uh, can be bold and this you know so f and we want to have some sort of uh, uh, or so here for the row we have an image column and we can add another text where we are going to be just showing that uh, we want to put it here and we can select this option you see that we are going to have an error so we just want to space this one out so why this was went to the middle so we want to take those guys and put them in one group wrap them in a row so they can stay on one side so this can consider it as one element so you see that we put them in one row and now this row is spacing this one which contains those guys and also this one and now this just was for a tip for you guys so we have done that uh, or we are actually preparing this for the next uh, level which is going to be a little bit complicated uh it's gonna be because we are going to be using a lot of custom codes or maybe just one code that will have a lot of copies so we will see that uh when we are going to move that uh, to to the next actually level so guys thank you so much for watching i just want to tell you that uh, some of the previous videos are not going to be a uh, available from my youtube uh, channel so maybe two or, two or three are going to be available but if you want to learn more and check this chat up to the next level and also improve your skills so uh, 
the videos are going to be available from my coffee shop you can download them uh, and they are going to be very cheap and for my members they are going to get 30 percent off the price so they are going to get it even cheaper than other people so i will be actually giving you the link for when we are going to be actually reaching the last video in this uh, playlist where i will send you the link or i will actually uh, put it in the, in the in the description of the last video so you can guys can go and take that uh, p video pack and actually learn new skills and a lot of things so all those videos will have a value that you will not find for free he here on my channel so if you are interested so make sure you subscribe also turn on the bell icon and if you like this, this video then don't forget to actually uh, support my work on coffee I highly appreciate your support and uh, uh, until next time happy development and take care of yourselves